All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. All right, let's go, uh, let's go see if we can meet that mascot, man. Knowing the way stuff pans out, he might just be dead already. <laughs> Oh my god! What the f Okay, well... That was... Surprising. Workbench. Alright, let's... Let's, uh... Let's work on some stuff. What am I currently wearing? 25. That's 39. Alright, so what does this do? Line, well, I think it's a pl uh, shock armor rating. Corrosion armor rating. Physical armor rating. Corrosion armor. Uh, what does this do? Uh, chrono field adjuster. Is that, is that it? Electro charge surface. Huh. Oh, the mod's already in. How, how many mods can I have in at once? Proved thug. Thug kit. Uh, increases your tech skills. utility current capacity is 20 plus 20 interchangeable huh so what does it do uh, netting detects interactable objects oh quick acting uh, race race tam injectors when a piece of armor trigger or to perform a dodge adding a bit more pep in the maneuver okay whatever Um, now let's tinker a little bit. Oh, that's it. That's the highest point it can go, isn't it? All right, let's repair some stuff. Can I just, yeah, re repair everything? do not like. Oh my god. If you lose anything else, it's good to know we can purchase a replacement here. Was this a dry goods store? Hey you, come take a look. Hold on. I hear something clamoring to kill me. Hey, you look like you need some stuff. Fancy watch? Spare cuff link? Single earring? You want it, I've got it. Sure. Uh, what, uh, what is all this junk? You doing okay? <laughs> Me? Oh, sure. Terrific. Never better. And as soon as I pay off my docking fines, I'll be back on my feet and in my ship. So it turns out Slug has some pretty strict rules on vehicle docking, and I may have broken a few of them. Who'd think Slug would be so strict? Uh, that's a shame. Sure is. And that reminds me that I've got delinquency fees accruing on top of the original docking fines. Which is why I'm hoping you'll purchase my fine wares.
Okay, what, what do you got? You know what? I'm just gonna buy that for the hell of it, because it looks pretty cool. Actually, you know what? You doing okay? Blah, 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 blah. Back and finds, blah, blah, blah. Can I help you? You sure can. Buy some of my goods, and it'll count towards paying off my docking fines. And the delinquency fees that are accruing on top of them. Is it so much that I can't just... Okay. They're just not going to let me <laughs> give her the money. Because I might have it in other games let you do that. Alright, let's meet with Mascot Man. Something sounds dangerous. Or maybe it's just sprats. I don't know. Okay, this place doesn't really seem to be. It seems to be in working order, actually. Holy shit. That's the first time that's happened. You're sure he's not in the museum? Discrepancy detected nearby. How, how, I knew it. I knew he'd be dead. This empty bottle of spirits does not belong to any known corporate brand. Suspicious residue detected. All right, what's the residue? Ethanol. Excellent deduction, Inspector. Imbibing of unauthorized beverages is strictly prohibited under Rizzo's company law. Ingredients include antiseptic alcohol, sucrose, oh. and unidentifiable miscellaneous organic material. Closest match. Counterfeit spirits available at the Piraeus spaceport. Okay. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Discrepancy detected. Rizzo's company policy clearly states that all proprietary mascots must exhibit signs of physical life. <laughs> Puncture wounds near the collarbone. Uh, I'm having trouble finding an exit wound. Well, he's got a he's got a parasite in his neck. Excellent observation, Inspector. Have you deduced a possible cause of death? Unusually small entry wounds indicate exotic weaponry. Closest approximations are one incident involving a game of darts. Two. The Needler. The gun that we have? Uh, oh, no, wait, that's a replica. Yes, Inspector. The Needler. The spoke handgun carried and wielded by Halcyon Helen. Famously deployed by Halcyon Helen in Terror on Monarch. This weapon was responsible for executing the Chief of the Savages, played by Spencer Woolridge. Amplifier, before we go, do you think we'd miss, uh, think he'd miss this outfit? <laughs> This unit is incapable of providing ethical advice. This unit is also incapable of answering rhetorical questions. I'll take his things for potential evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? What's this? Vending machine power tables. Caught a real lucky break working on Aerodyne. Okay, what? They can't keep us out. All right, let's take a look upstairs, see if there's any other clues. Wish I had a telescope like this back in the Vale. Of course. Hey, you can see into the hotel rooms with that thing. Probably can. Can I... Nope, but I can't examine it. Alright, let's see if we can get through this. Celebrity sightings. 
So somebody's been documenting who they see. Anything else? Turn those offline. So we're, we're kind of just at a dead end? I mean, yeah, Black Hole Birdie hired him, but still. Where is that? Really? Can I not fast travel? There we go. Nope, we're still outside. God damn it. Okay, fine. Okay, so where am I? Oh, he's down here. Hello, sir. You've been elusive, haven't you? What do you want? Uh, to talk. Shh! Not so loud! How'd you know it was me? Uh, sh sorry, should I not have? I'm an inspector. Do you have any idea how many toss ball posters of your f face is on? That's what the disguise is for. Dude. I'm in no mood to sign autographs, and I hate disappointing fans. So I'm lying low. You know, incompleto. Right. It's incognito. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess it's kind of neato. Oh, dear God. Oh, what's it matter? Helen's gone. She's gone, and nothing I do will bring her back. I've been trying to find who did this. That's what she would do track down the killer and bring them to justice but I'm stumped and not very clever being bright was always Helen's thing yeah you seem kind of stupid uh, maybe I can help I was hired to solve her murder uh, I don't need you to be clever just honest oh so you're the inspector hope you have more luck figuring things out than me you probably want to ask me some questions huh I'm sure you're asking everybody questions, so you can find Helen's killer. Yeah. So, uh, how do I help? Uh, what were you doing the night Helen died? I was getting blotto with the rest of the rangers. What? <laughs> what does that mean? You know, soaked. Muddled. Preserved. I think he means drunk. Yeah. The team noticed I was in a bad way when I got back to the hotel. When I told them Helen and I were Splitsville, they wanted to cheer me up. We were up the pole of four evening. The hotel staff said we was bothering the other guests on account of all the crying and yelling and practice body tackling. Zeke said we should move elsewhere, get some air. Probably a good call, where'd you go? I'm deeply disappointed I didn't get to see all this. We ended up at the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve. I think somebody wanted to pet a woolly cow? There was this one cow off away from the others. Zeke figured it'd be a laugh to get her drunk. One thing led to another, and I think we might have maybe, you know, stolen her. Yeah, I stumbled upon that. Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. That's real clever of you to figure out. Helen would have liked you, I'd wager. Say, is the cow okay? Cow's drunk, but she's fine. Uh, it was wrong of us. I hope she doesn't have a hangover or nothing. It did. My memory's a little muddled after that. I guess me and the team got split up, because I know I was on my own at the pilot house for a time. Could anyone from the pilot house uh, back that up? Mm, I reckon not. See, I went to the weather station. I was looking for where Helen stashed her data pad for safekeeping, right? She'd asked me to get it, mind. I wasn't stealing. I'm no thief. And did you find it? Uh, why do you think she couldn't get it herself? You're telling me Helen dumped you, then asked you for a favor? Yeah, that doesn't sound... 
Nah, she sent a note to my hotel room before we, you know, split. I don't know how long it was sitting there before I noticed. All right, so the data pad, did you find it? I get it, you thought you were doing her a favor to smooth things over. She needed something done and I could do it. Simple as that, okay? No, I understand. I found the data pad at the weather station, like Helen said, but then a guard found me. She started yelling about how I was trespassing and in serious trouble. Thing is, it was real dark out there. So dark, she couldn't tell who I was. Sigh wearily. <laughs> I wasn't keen on conversing, okay? I, I was drunk and holding someone else's data pad. And also, maybe I was crying a little. So I booked it. Ran like the Rangers were down by three and I just bronzed the toss ball in the Friday zone. Whatever that means. Uh... I know you weren't sprinting uh, for the Sunday zone. Where'd you go? Uh, did anyone else see you that night? Think hard. Anyone else? Yeah, um, I mean, no. Nope. No one else. Who saw you? Um, all right. Uh, I would have to be dead to not to realize that was a lie. Can we pretend I didn't mention that? No, we can't. I don't want to tell you. I'll get in trouble. Uh, not having a witness puts you in a much bigger trouble. Look, I talked to Oric, okay? Oric West. Hangs out around the spaceport. He's the one who taught me the uh, breathing exercises I use to calm down. Thanks, I'll follow up with Oric, your bookie. A uh, murderous confidant, secret paramour with whom you've been having a torrid affair. <laughs> confidant is like confidence. What's torrid mean? Oh my god. Who's Oric, Birdie? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Oric's not a bad guy. He's just got an unusual job. Being? So now you have the whole story. After I talked to Oric, I went back to the hotel. Woke up the next morning with Helen's data pad in my hand and the hangover to end all hangovers. Don't know if I'll ever drink again. Uh, jeez, you had a bad time. And you had, uh, advice for next time, Ellie. A shot of Spectrum mixed in a Gigantor energy drink first thing in the morning. Works like a charm. I think that probably counts as drinking, but thanks, ma'am. Anyway, uh... You ought to take Helen's data pad. Maybe you'll have better luck understanding her notes. Awesome. Either she was writing in code or I'm dumber than a bag of hammers. You're pretty stupid. I tried for hours to crack her notes, but it's like I said. Being bright was Helen's thing. Uh, thanks, I'll take a look at them. Uh, still a gap in your timeline, Birdie. Uh, I'm not sure a black dot will cut it. I know, I know that. But you gotta believe me. I would never hurt Helen, no matter how drunk I was. You could preserve me in Spectrum Brown, and I wouldn't even look at her funny. I want to help you find her killer, Inspector. I knew Helen better than anybody. And it could be handy to have a guy like me around, in case anybody gives you trouble. Wait, are you offering to be a companion? I can't let a suspect be part of the investigation. I'm really more lone canid type. Start threatening witnesses, and I'll throw you in jail myself. I get it. I'll head back to the Grand Colonial then. Unless you need me for anything else? Uh, yeah, there were more questions, weren't there? What do there? you want to know? Uh... Why do you have a mascot pull that stunt? I remember sending her the recording, but... Law, I was halfway to preserve by then. I don't know what was on it. When I realized what I'd done, I panicked. If I'd said something dumb, folks might think I was involved in her death. I was scared of looking suspicious. Uh, I found the recording. There's nothing incriminating. I don't remember finding the recording. You listened to it? what I say to Helen? Did I sound drunk? <sighs> Thank the architect. I hope she heard it. I don't want the last time she heard my voice to be when I was all angry at the orchards. 
about Helen. What about her? Uh, why did you break up? Did she have any enemies? I wish I knew. Must have been something I did. At the picnic, Helen just kept saying she didn't want to drag me into her world. Maybe one of the higher-ups in motion pictures was giving her trouble over us? I don't know. I tried to understand, but I don't. Rival actresses, maybe? I don't know too much about the motion picture industry. Except for Helen's pictures, obviously. Those I probably know by heart. Seen them about a hundred times each. I mean, well, you still don't know much about the actual industry. What do you want to know? Yeah? Oryx's a businessman. He sells stuff you can't get elsewhere. You know, alternative stuff. We're talking sort of science, crockery, whole supplements. Oh, okay. So pseudoscience. And... <laughs> Maybe putting effort accelerators in your body isn't always the right call, you know? Maybe there are other options. Maybe I don't take all the accelerators Rizzo's pushes on me. Maybe you should. Get, uh, maybe I should forget the last one, uh, so you don't get in trouble with the Rizzos. Uh, I get it. You want to keep uh, your fringe medical options on the down low. People get worked up about this kind of thing, is all. Not that my personal business should be any concern of theirs. Yeah. Where can I find him? Oric hangs around the spaceport most days. Okay. Since he's not here, here at the bar, he's most likely over by the bio. Sounds good. Goodbye. Let's go speak to him. Mr. West, please be alive. Hey, pal. Over here. Hey there. You looking to unwind, friend? Maybe you're on your way to the bar for a good time? Maybe you're interested in something a little better than beer or Adreno? Something with a little more kick? The name's Auric. I deal in, shall we say, holistic pharmaceuticals, yeah, I know natural what you substances, and the like. Mm -hmm. You know, alternative stuff. Gwyneth Paltrow and Space. I know, I know. I know. Ooh, it came out of the ground. That's where worms live. <laughs> I get it. I do. Why go for that homegrown shit when you could be pumping your body full of effort accelerators? It says it right on the Anti Cleo's box. Better than nature, right? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, pal. Those pharmaceuticals the corporations manufacture, not all of them are as good for you as the board wants you to believe. Yeah, I've noticed as much. Most of them just suppress food <laughs> uh, appetite. That sounds medically inaccurate. <laughs> Alternatives, that's the way to go, pal. Trust me, no matter what ails you, I got what you need. Uh, yeah, let's, let's talk. Wait, you ain't a sheriff, right? No. You gotta tell me if you're a sheriff. No, I don't. I'm a freelance inspector. I don't think I have a jurisdiction here. What makes you think I'm a sheriff? Uh, I'm just a woman looking for answers. Uh, if you plan, if I'd planned to arrest you, you'd be in jail by now. I'll be honest. I don't really know where that puts us. Uh... I'm not here to uh, to bring you any trouble. Just want to talk. Me either. <laughs> I'm just not going to arrest someone if I don't even know if that's allowed. All right. All right. Fine. Yeah, I know Birdie. I know so you what? know him. Uh, heard you taught Birdie some breathing techniques. Was Birdie with you the night she died? How do you know him? Yeah. Damn shame about that. Birdie thought the world of Helen, you know. He showed up drunk at my place wanting to talk about the breakup. Helen dumped him, he said. Boy, was he in a bad way. I'd never seen him like that before. We talked for a while, and when he felt better, I sent him back to the hotel. Told him to drink more water and get some sleep. Right, uh... Yeah, that was me. Birdie's got a temper, but he's not a bad kid, you know? He's trying to work on it. He may or may not buy alternatives from me from time to time. A little diluted mantis or essence here, a little vitamin B negative there. What for? Nah. 
What Bertie's got is a stress problem. He's stressed out of his mind, the poor guy. Everyone knows his name. Can't turn around without having to sign an autograph. Then you throw in playing tossed ball for a living. Violence like that, it does things to a body. It does things to the head. Uh, what do you mean toss ball does things to the head? Come on. Bertie's a damn good hacker. But taking that many blows to the noggin would scramble anyone's upstairs business. I know it's knocked a few of his memories loose. I worry about him, that's all. He's a good kid. Got a good heart. All right. Thank you. And now, let's just, uh... If we can... Oh dear lord, can I, can I get... Come on, I wanna... Screw it, screw it, okay, whatever. I will take the loading screen and I'll just run. Okay, come on. What the fuck? Jesus. Alright, so. We're gonna go speak to Ludovico again. That's two, uh. That's two investigation lines we completed in one stream. I'm pretty proud of that. Then again, that one was kind of short and I did start it a little bit, like, when it first happened. Plus, I'm playing this on console, not a computer. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just have to uh, break it down. Where's that corpse? Okay, we're in. What? Shut up, quit asking me, take me to the penthouse. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. Okay. Inspector? I'm pleased to hear that. Bertie Holcomb is a valuable asset to the Rizzo's Rangers property. When Helen was murdered, Bertie was nowhere to be found. The timing of his disappearance is unfortunate. Unfortunate and suspicious. Uh, this isn't a good look for Birdie. Uh, Birdie's something of a character, but he's harmless. I feel a little bad for him. Even if he didn't kill Helen, uh, he's done some reckless things. Oh, dear law. Please tell me there wasn't another woolly cow involved. No, just the one. Okay, so you know about the cow. Uh... Yes, yes, I know about the woolly cow. Constable Keene had Bertie's teammates arrested for unauthorized inebriation of livestock. Bertie himself was nowhere to be found during the incident. Ironically, if Keene had arrested him, he'd have the perfect alibi. Be plain with me, Inspector. Do you believe Black Hole Bertie killed Helen? I don't. It... It's possible I'm still investigating my leads. I really don't. It looks likely. Uh, what does it matter? Arrest the guy, pin, <laughs> pin some charges on him, and move on. Understood. I appreciate your candor. I'd like you to continue your investigation. Notify me as soon as you're ready to make a formal accusation. 
Okay. Uh, just to keep him out of trouble. Uh, by the way, Bertie agreed to stay at, uh, at the Grand Colonial. I appreciate that. I'd rather keep Bertie within the public eye than let him languish in a bar at the docks. I'll make my report of your investigation into Bertie. Do you have anything else for me? Uh, no, I do not. What the hell? All right, so let's see if we can investigate or look into the, her data pad. Uh, victims. I'll see on Helen. step nope back 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 step back maybe uh suspects and then under birdie uh do, 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 it's during the time of death it could be a hot-headed hacker killed as a killer it's on the toss ball stick how do i uh how do i examine the okay right so how do I examine her data pad additional evidence let's uh, nope that back uh, look at the spaceport so maybe the spaceport Okay, so no, not exactly. Okay. So nothing so far. Maybe it's just kind of sit. Is it sitting around somewhere? All right, no, I, I guess not. Do you think it's strange that I kind of miss Ada? Okay, so. Journal. We, uh, name the murderer. Who killed Halcyon Helen? Okay, so we can just accuse somebody now. I guess because we have technically more than one suspect, officially, that we've spoken to and looked at. Let's go. Yeah, let's go do the profit profitability. Exit. Yeah, I'm gonna save Cedric for last. Only because I don't really believe he has anything to do with it other than like normal sublight crimes and whatever that, cause he works for them. So, you know, probably has nothing to do with it. I could be wrong, but we're, we're gonna investigate this prophet and see what they have to say. Cause they've been involved in some of it too. Oh no. Hey, why am I over encumbered? Um. What do I have to get rid of? We haven't investigated that at all, that area. Honestly, I think it's the last place we haven't been. This 
is how top rungers like to enjoy nature from far away and with a stiff drink. Okay. I get it. So it's the reserve. The nature reserve just past the part we've been to. If I had known, I would have just continued going. Or have, yes we have, because this is where that bellhop was. think instead of uh, these bridges they would keep like a uh, what, what's it called not a monorail but fuck they, they cable cars or some such you would think they would keep oh my oh my god oh my god slowed down. Oh, it's whatever effect is going on with me right now. Jesus, these employees just do not last long. Alright, girls. Find that profit. Oh, just we heading like inside, down. Captain. Don't worry, I got your back. Legal. What? Is it? Uh, legal hunting, hunting supplies. Okay. Really? Come on. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh, hey there, stranger. Don't mean to interrupt your business, but uh, have you seen a stray mechanical wandering about? No, I haven't. Uh, wait, I think I know the rest of this one. Hey, that's pretty good. I'll have to use that at my next mechanics meeting. But I take by your tone that you ain't seen anything matching my machine's description. No. Oh, that's not good. I hope she hasn't gotten herself into any trouble. So instead of hunting wildlife, you're hunting mechanicals? Oh, I ain't no hunter. <laughs> At least not in the traditional sense. Wrenches always suited me better than firearms. A mechanical under my care up and wandered off, that's all. I gotta get her back before anyone notices that either of us are missing. The shopkeep says I should buy one of his rifles and go looking myself. But like my machine, I'm not combat inclined. We can help her out, right? Won't take too long if we're on the job. Sure. I know it's a pain, but I think I need some outside help. Job or no job, I'm not leaving Betty out in the wastes. I'll keep my eye out. Hey, thanks so much. It would have been mighty lonely without her. Uh, uh, being unemployed, I mean. Be lonely being unemployed. <laughs> if you find Betty, try sneaking up and hacking her. If you can't do that... Finding a way to stop her current routines should send her back home. Okay. Cool. Welcome to Hunter Legal's Legal Hunter Supplies. Oh, wow. I am Hunter Legal. How might I help you today? Uh, let's just see what you say. Hunter Supply. Okay, so a lot of stuff. Just, just weapons. We can look into an upgrade later. 
Wait, does he sit? No, okay, whatever. All right, so ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thanks so much for joining me. When we return tomorrow, we're going to investigate the profit profitability and hopefully get some more conclusions to these leads. I, we might actually be done with this DLC pretty soon. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you.